Hi, what's up? It's Deanna, and today I'm going to show you this 1920s Armand Marseille German bisque head baby doll. And it's a composition jointed baby doll with a bisque head. And I have a 1940s, 1950s doll stroller that she's sitting in. And here, let me show you her details. Excuse the crunching sounds. I'm stepping in ice and snow right now. And so these dolls, I think, were known as dream babies. And they were made to sort of actually compete with the other baby dolls of the time, which was another one. I forgot the name of it. Oh, my goodness. My brain is having a brain fog right now. But um, nonetheless, uh, this particular model, you don't really see too often. I forgot the number. And I don't feel like taking her bonnet off right now. It's way too cold. My hands are frozen as I'm filming this. But look at the bottom teeth in her mouth. This was a character baby doll, and it was made to actually replicate a real child, a real baby doll. And uh, she's wearing her antique original outfit, which is a little stained, but that's to be expected, with a little sweater, and her bonnet is original. And she has very, very faintly painted eyebrows. You can hardly see them. Little upper and lower painted lashes. And... She has little dots inside her nose to make it look like her nostril holes are open. And she's sort of not very attractive. <laughs> but if I was a little child back then, I would have probably wanted one of these dolls. And let me show you some of the clothes she's wearing. She's wearing little undergarments, little baby booties. She has a jointed five-piece body. So her legs um, can bend and she can be placed in a seated position. I had uh, found this antique little baby bottle made out of glass and you can see like the little rubber nipple is disintegrating from age. I figured that would be like a perfect accessory for her. And I also have this antique rattle and it's made out of silver with the little celluloid ring that a child used to teeth on. And I collect teddy bears so this is like the perfect little accessory to add to my collection. And so I like, I keep it with the doll. And so let me show you this little baby buggy or stroller. And it's made out of tin and it has a little cat on it. And it has a lot of details. The wheels look like they have little spokes, but they don't. And these were generally made in like the 1940s, 1950s. And it's an American uh, stroller. And this was like little lithographic little decals. And so nonetheless, once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll show you more dolls soon, so stay tuned.